What's up, y'all? Y'all know who this is. It's Elliot the Unstoppable, and welcome to the Nubian Herbal Bill Show. All right, we're going to get into the second enemy of the gut, which is um, carbonic acid. Now, let's define carbonic acid first. Okay, carbonic acid is starch chemically on the acidic side or the acid side and does not resemble the human body in this chemical structure. It's, it affects the human's CHO, which is carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Structure negatively like alcohol. And a couple of examples, carbonic acid in the body, rice, processed, barley, wheat. All right, so let's get into carbonic acid. See, not only is carbonic acid bad in the sense of as well as getting in your joints with your, the uric acid, but carbonic acid affects you negatively as far as like, um, let's, let's take wheat for example. Now, what happens is wheat, when it's processed into the body, the body converts the wheat into sugar. Now, in the stomach, based on the enzymes and everything else, the wheat from sugar is turned into alcohol. So if you notice, that's why every time, like if you have like, for example, like pizza or uh, like a heavy pasta meal and you go to bed, and then you wake up the next morning and you feel like you had a hangover even though you haven't had anything to drink as far as alcoholic based. That is carbon and acid buildup in your body. Also, the bad thing from carbon and acid as well is that your body doesn't really process it. So whenever there's sugar that is not natural sugar, what happens in the body is that when the body cannot digest it, and say for example, if you eat like something like something that's called like a fast carb, when you eat it, your body only takes a little piece of it because it's so highly concentrated compared to like a slow carb which will take it and break it down in its entirety. So what happens is your body goes into a, a emergency storing system. Let's say getting back to the body, how it takes a small piece of those high, the high glycemic type of sugar, and then it takes the rest of it and then it stores it. That's how you will have like in your midsection the, the blubbery fat or the, the love handles as they call it, those are vi that's called visceral fat in your legs or anything else because your body stores it as energy for later use, but it's not good energy. See, whatever, is, whatever sugar is good, it's not going to weigh on your body. You can stay away from the foods that I just mentioned and then be be aware that whatever food that you eat and that's really delicious um bread pasties um um you know peanuts whatever else all of these wheat type products will then turn into carbon and acid in your body which will then shut down your body so your body can try to process what it can't process which will leave you in the itis state as they call it and see what happens is that over time when your body continues to shut down shut down shut down shut down because it's trying to process the food eventually it it has its ending um toll where now you have health problems you you have like um obese issues irritable bowel syndrome comes from wheat which comes um um, which comes from wheat, which, which, which deals with carbon and acid. And let's be honest with ourselves. A lot of times I always hear people say, I eat healthy, but a lot of times if 
falls on fly on the wall and I check exactly what you were eating, then I will begin to see what's the major issue and whatever it, health issues that you are going through. All right, y'all, so that's it. This Ellie is unstoppable. See that button right there? Hit that. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for watching your positive energy. I love it, and I love you all. And also, I need y'all to do something for me. Comment. This is Elliot Unstoppable. Thank you for tuning in to part two of the enemies of the gut. Part three is coming next, y'all. All right, y'all. So that's it. Peace.